It smells like somebody just stuck a peach right in, right on my nose. My nose is right, right in the middle of the peach, and I'm just going, going like this on it. This, this is what I'm getting. And welcome back to the beer garden on a less than warm day here. And uh, before we get too far along on this play date, uh, if you do me a favor, if you're here because you like beer, and let's be honest, why else would you be here? Uh, please tap that subscribe button down below because I have low self-esteem and more subscribers and followers makes me feel really good about myself. So, hey, I appreciate that. And uh, please excuse my voice if it sounds a little raspy or weird. Uh, that's because I spent the last week getting over the cron the uh, Omicron variants of the coronavirus. So that makes three bouts of it now that I've had. So I've got antibodies out the yang and I am ready to go. It only took me three days to get over it. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right, up this round on the Brew Review, a fan favorite and a hard to find one. I'm gonna be rating it out of five stars, how good a cheap brew it is. And I'm talking about going back to Shiner, Texas. This Shiner Hill country peach wheat. You know me and wheat beers, I have an allergy to wheat, but I figured since I have so many antibodies in my system, I ought to be bulletproof pretty much from anything right now. But uh, wheat beers, I really don't enjoy that much. Like I said, they make me feel hot. Uh, I don't find them refreshing. The mouthfeel is weird. Four and a half percent. Should I even bother? All right, I like peaches. Uh, so that's a plus in. Let's go ahead and twist off the cap insulated glove sort of muffled that a little bit. Not a whole lot coming out of that anyway. Let's give it a pour into the sold out a Beer Snobs Cheap Brew Review pint glass. Being careful not to touch the bottle to the glass. Uh, I have a lot of people ask me about that. Are you just kidding around about the whole, uh, it's bad beer etiquette to touch the bottle to the glass? No, I was, somebody told me that years ago that it was just a, a bad etiquette to touch the bottle. So I'm up. Whoa. I just felt like it just fell out of the plane into the peach orchard. Wow, I can smell that. Talk about a cheap. Shiner uh, does their best. God bless them. Uh, I, I like them. I, I like some of their brews. Uh, check out some of my other brews on this channel, or my reviews about Shiner. Uh, it says, ale brewed with peaches and with natural flavor added. All right, this ought to be an interesting ride. There's our soapy head quickly dissipating. Uh, okay, acceptable color. All right, that looks sort of inviting. I'm getting just massive uh, peach, like, you know those individual peach gummy things in a bag that you get at like the dollar store? Almost like, a, and I said this about one of uh, Shiner's other beer, uh, what was the, the holiday beer that had the peach in it also? Almost smells like a, like a, um, a peach ice cream. All right, I don't want to drink alone, uh, so grab yourself a beer and tie for the liquid to hit the lips. All right, cheers. Oh, it's a cold day, it's a cold beer. You're probably gonna see tears and snot coming out of my face. And also, since I've had the cron, um, my tolerance is down, so uh, this ought to be kind of interesting. Uh, it said on the bottle that it was unfiltered, but that's the cleanest unfiltered beer I've ever seen in my life. It has a very light taste to it. I can't taste the peach at all. I can smell the heck out of it. I mean, it's the peach. It smells like somebody just stuck a peach right in, right on my nose. My nose is right, right in the middle of the peach, and I'm just going, going like this on it. This, this is what I'm getting. It's like this. Oh, oh, amen. But I can't taste it, and it's got nothing to do with the cron because I had my taste all through that. Holy Moses. Okay. Uh, look at the lacing. What do I say about a beer with good lacing? It shows a sign of quality. All right, but again, I have that sort of that metallic mid-tongue taste uh, that I almost always get with Shiner beer. I always put it sort of on the same shelf as a Yingling, sort of in the Genesee category. It's a little feminine uh, for me. 
Uh, maybe they could have balanced it out with a little something, I don't know, something under it a little bit more, maybe a little more malt for the value, for the price. If you can get it for $7.99, yeah, go ahead and pick yourself up a six pack of it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> a little bit of the cron left over. Would I buy it again? Probably not. Who would be drinking Shiner Peach Wheats? I can imagine some uh, Texas women drinking this with their Daisy Dukes on and their cowboy boots and their, their tank top and driving the truck with their aviator glasses on and hair flowing in the wind. And it's a dusty day in Texas and they're driving that big lift kit truck across the prairie. Maybe got some guns on them, shooting prairie dogs. You know, unscrewing the top, throwing it out there. Woo, 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 woo shatter. That's, that's what I imagine. So if that sounds like you, uh, here you go. So out of five stars, I'm gonna ring you up Shiner Hill Country Peach Wheat. Uh, it's, it's okay, it's middle shelf. I'm gonna ring you up at right around a... Three points, oh five. Uh, hey. Thanks for sticking around. If you made it this far through the video and you haven't tapped that subscribe button down below yet, please do. Really appreciate it. Remember my self-esteem. It helps. And be sure to check out more of my 100 plus brew reviews here on the YouTube channel. That would be awesome. Let me know what you think about Shiner Peach Wheat uh, in the comments down below and maybe some other beers you would like to see me review. I always like to read them and uh, try to do it. And I try to, uh, and I pride myself on getting back to every comment uh, on this channel. So it may take a little while, but uh, I'll get back to you if you do comment. Thanks again for your support. Join our group on Facebook, A Beer Snob's Cheap Brew Review. We're also on Instagram. I really got to get up on that page a little bit and add some more videos to it, but we're also on Instagram. Appreciate the follow there. And hey, it's a beautiful day here in the beer garden. Grab yourself a beer and you drink that beer. Yeah, cheers.